seven in, you know, whatever, best in show. If there is an A, B, or C next to that number, you'll write it after that. So or do I got to write 37A for that truck? Or 37B for that truck? Also, there are some young gun trucks out here. So any truck with a YG on it is a young gun class because there is a truck that has a YG on it. Any truck with a YG on it is a young gun class because there is a trophy specifically just for our young guns today. So if you see that truck, go ahead and uh, vote for that one in its class. We're doing it last. If you need any help with this, let me know. Uh, I'm sure that somebody around you can also help you. Uh, but it's a pretty straightforward voting system. Once you're done, you just hit submit, and all the results are going to go to me, and then we'll be able to determine our winner. Uh, first, I want to thank James O'Neill. Where are you at, James? James! James, where you at? Where'd he go? Somewhere over there. He is gone. But if you see James, Thank him. Uh, he is the guy who has designed all these awesome trophies that we're about to give away to you guys. So he custom welds us uh, every single year and for all of our major events, uh, these trophies that we give away to you guys using uh, all kinds of found materials from his shops. Everything from like chains to washers, bolts, nuts, all that good stuff. Uh, so James is our, our resident local artist. Uh, he's also going to uh, start producing stuff like this uh, for general sale to the public. Um, so he's going to have his own Facebook page. Uh, he hasn't hammered down a name for his art workshop yet, but as soon as he does, we'll be plugging him uh, because he's making all kinds of uh, really awesome stuff. So uh, everybody give James a quick round of applause for making all this stuff for us. Awesome trophy. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, go through here and I will call out your driver number uh, for each category on a winner. After that, uh, you've got your trophy. Uh, if I could get a picture of you with your trophy after we're all said and done here before you run away to dry, that would be great. Once we're done here, you are free to uh, hit the courses and play however you want. We've got four courses out here today, four different colors. Uh, each one is about 50 gates. There are also uh, coffins hidden on every single course. So there's one coffin on each course uh, that has a prize in it. Um, there are one hidden uh, uh, roughly I would say middle to end of it, so don't look too hard right at the beginning of each course. And it's safe to say that if there's a skeleton nearby, there's probably a coffin near that skeleton, so just keep your eyes peeled. There is nothing hidden that is going to require a shovel or movement of a 50 pound rock, so please keep that in mind. These are hidden, but they don't require course deformation to find. But they are definitely out there. They're little marble colored coffins. So if you find one of those, pop it open, you'll have a little gift card inside there. Uh, as for the rest of the day, uh, basically you guys are here all day long. If you want, you can come and go as you please. Um, at two o'clock, if you have your raffle and you want to stick around, we'll be doing our raffle to give away some prizes. That will be here in the pit. I'll also make an announcement. I'll come out below the air horn. 
Um, in addition to the uh, items that we're giving away during that raffle, we are also doing a Yeti cooler drawing. That's a separate ticket. And that's just $5 per ticket if you want to get in on that. Um, and they'll be selling those all day long. If you're sticking around for the night run, you can stay here all day if you want, or if you wanted to leave, go get dinner and come back, which some people like to do since it's in the evening. Uh, we'll be starting the night run as soon as the sun goes down. I'll run through and set the candlelight pace, and then it will be open to run at that point. Um, usually, uh, we stay pretty late out here. The last couple of years we've been here too late. I think I left at like 1.30 in the morning last year. So we're going to scale that back a little bit. Um, so we're going to start running when the sun goes down. And at, at about 10 o'clock, we'll start asking people to kind of wrap it up and clean up so that we can try and get everybody out of here at a reasonable time this year uh, at about 10.30. Um, if anybody has any questions or anything like that, uh, you can always find me in the office too. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, figure out who our winners are. And we'll give away some, uh, some trophies here. So your driver's number is on your bracelet, if you don't remember it. Uh, let's go over here. We had no ties today and everybody did vote. Uh, so, um, our... So, best scale truck. Goes to driver number six. Oh wait, no, hold on. Driver number 25. Six was the number of votes. Driver number 25. Who is this? You got his hopes Congratulations. Best old truck goes to driver number 33. 33. Which truck was that? Oh, this one right here. Oh, that is a nice truck. <laughs> our young guns. James made a special trophy that is just for our young gun drivers out there, so they have their own. So our best young gun truck on the course is, whoopsie. Sorry, the internet died on me there for a second. Driver number 17. Congratulations. We have best interior goes to number 15. Driver number 15. Wow. That's, a, that's a hard interior to beat. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thank you for that there. I want a picture of it. Best in show. Okay. Goes Thank to you. number 15. <laughs> number 15. <laughs> the crowd has spoken. Right? Which trophy was that? That was best in show. Now we have creepiest crawler, which James has made us a super cool little tombstone here that says, Rest in peace, that gate. Creepiest crawler goes to number 25. 25. The monster wagon. Congratulations, drivers. Uh, thank you, everybody, for voting. Uh, again, if you want a trophy, come and see me real quick so we can get a picture of your rig after you get your own picture.
Every sunrise is just for you So come along and take